वेलकम अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन बेसिक थियोरी ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंटेशन देन वी हैव सीन हाउ टू रिड्यूस द ब्लॉक डायग्राम बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंट रूल्स दैट इज वी हैव सीन एट डिफरेंट रूल्स फॉर रिडक्शन ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम नाउ वी विल सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स based on block diagram reduction by applying that eight rules now before solving the block diagram problems there is some procedure how to solve the block diagram reduction problem now first is rule number 1 that is first step is reduce the blocks connected in series second reduce the blocks connected in parallel third step reduce the minor internal feedback loop fourth step as far as possible try to shift take off points towards right and summing points towards left step number 5 repeat step 1 to 4 till simple form is obtained and step number 6 using standard transfer function of simple closed loop system obtain the closed loop transfer function that is cs upon rs of the overall system now these are the steps that we have to use while solving the block diagram problems now this is our first problem determine the transfer function of the system shown in figure now this is the diagram they have given in which three summing points are there 1 2 and 3 blocks g1 g4 are there they are connected in series then this ch1 is there this is feedback path is there again this g2 and g3 they are connected in parallel These signals are in the same direction, and again here this takeoff point is there, and this is feedback path, and in between this feedback path, this H two is the element or H two block is there, and that signal is given or fed back to this first summing point. Now we have seen different rules how to find out the transfer function of this block diagram. therefore we will apply rules one by one now already we have seen the different steps first of all what we have to do then next is we step hmm? therefore again we will see the steps what is the first step reduce the blocks connected in series second step reduce the blocks connected in parallel third step reduce the minor internal feedback loop fourth step as far as possible try to shift take off points towards right and summing points towards left fifth repeat step 1 to 4 till simple form is obtained and sixth step using standard transfer function of simple closed loop system obtain the closed loop transfer function that is cs upon rs of the overall system therefore these are the steps we have to apply while solving this problem now what is the first step reduce the blocks connected in series therefore g1 g and g4 g1 and g4 are connected in series therefore first of all we have to reduce this block then reduce the blocks connected in parallel g2 and g3 these blocks are in parallel therefore see that <coughs> the blocks step 1 the block g2 and g3 are in parallel and g1 and g4 are in series therefore this first summing point here second summing point these two blocks g1 and g4 are getting multiplied with each other since blocks are in series and when blocks are in parallel we have to add them algebraically that depending upon the sign therefore this block that two blocks are reduced to g2 plus g3 therefore again we have to draw the block diagram like this now this 
this summing point, this block G1, G4 and this block H1, this forms minor feedback loop. This forms minor feedback loop. Therefore, we will reduce this minor feedback loop. Hmm? Now, here H1 signal is positive, I think. This is positive signal, H1 signal. Therefore, when positive signal is here, in the denominator work is negative signal. That is G1, G4 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1. Therefore, G1, G4 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1 because that minus sign is due to this positive sign. Therefore, this minor feedback loop is reduced by one block having the value G1, G4 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1. And again, this G2 plus G3, same block will remain as it is. This summing point will also remain as it is. This H2 block will also remain as it is. Negative sign for positive feedback. So when your positive feedback is there, we have to use negative sign. This 1 minus G1, G4, H1. Now, this block and this block is in series. Therefore, when the blocks are in series, they are getting multiplied with each other. Therefore, we will multiply these two blocks and the resultant block will be like this. G1, G4 into G2 plus G3 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1. Again, this feedback signal is there or takeoff point is there. Feedback signal is taken H2. Then this R input, C is the output. Now, this is again feedback loop. This is the minor feedback loop. Therefore, we will solve this minor feedback loop. Therefore, CS upon RS is equal to G1, G4 into G2 plus G3 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1 divided by. Now, here 1 plus is there. Why plus sign is there? Because here negative feedback is there. For negative feedback, we have to use here positive sign. Therefore, 1 plus G1, G4 into G2 plus G3 into H2 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1. This is the end of the problem. This is the end of the problem. Now, we will see second problem. Therefore, draw the diagram. Therefore, you have drawn the diagram. Therefore, this second problem. This is the one first summing point. This is second summing point. Block G1 is there. Then this takeoff point is there. This is the feedback element H1. Negative feedback is there. Again here, summing point is there. Block G2 is there. Block H2 is there. And two takeoff points are there. One takeoff point is H2 through this to this summing point. Another takeoff point is to this another swimming point. Therefore, this is the diagram, and we have to reduce this block diagram. Or we have to find out transfer function of this block diagram. Therefore, this is the minor loop. This swimming point block G2 and block H2 forms the minor feedback loop. Therefore, we will reduce this. Since this is a negative feedback, in the denominator, the sign will be positive. That is G2 divided by 1 plus G2H2. Therefore, same diagram we have to draw. Step 1, reduce minor, minor feedback loop. Up to this, we have to draw same diagram. Therefore, from this signal up to this, we have to add one block having its value G2 divided by 1 plus G2H2. And this is the takeoff point. Hmm? Now, every time you have to analyze which rule we have to apply to reduce this block diagram. Eight different rules we have seen. Blocks in series, blocks in parallel, associative law for the summing point, 
then shifting the summing point behind the block, shifting the summing point after the block, shifting the takeoff point behind the block, shifting the takeoff point after the block, then reduction of minor product loop. These all eight rules we have seen. Every time you have to think that which rule we have to apply. Now here if you will see G1 block G1 and this block G2 derivative 1 plus G2 H2 they are not in series because in between these two blocks this takeoff point is there. Therefore to bring these two blocks in series we have to shift this takeoff point after this block. So to shift this takeoff point after this block. Now, if any you are going to shift takeoff point after this block, what is our rule? That rule you have to remember. All the eight rules you have to remember while solving the problem. Therefore, we will shift this takeoff point after this block and we will add here another block just to check. Therefore, we have shifted that takeoff point after the block and we have added a block having reciprocal having its value reciprocal of that block. Therefore, value of this block is G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2 and value of this block is 1 plus G2 H2 divided by G2. We have added a block having its value reciprocal of that block. Therefore, because of this what will happen? These two blocks will be in series. G1 and into this block G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2. Therefore, these two blocks are getting multiplied with each other. In the same way, these two blocks are also are getting multiplied with each other. With each other. That is H1 into 1 plus G2 H2 divided by G2. Therefore, G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2 and this block is there H1 into bracket 1 plus G2 H2 divided by G2. Therefore, diagram would remain same. Now, this is there. Hmm? This forms minor feedback loop. Now here, no value is there. This is the takeoff point, and this feedback signal is taken. And in this signal, we are not observing any block. If there are no block in the feedback signal, we have to consider that that is nothing but unity feedback. That is nothing but unity feedback therefore will this is the minor feedback loop that this summing point this unity feedback and this block g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 it forms a minor feedback loop therefore the result the next step will be reducing the minor feedback loop with unity feedback therefore minor loop is equal to its value is equal to g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus 1 into because that unity feedback is there 1 into g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 therefore by cross multiplication which is equal to g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 therefore this 1 plus g2 h2 1 plus g2 h2 will get cancelled and minor loop is equal to g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 plus g2 h2 now this is the block this is the value of the block that will add g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 plus g2 h2 now this summing point this block and this block h1 into g1 plus g2 h2 divided by g2 this forms a again feedback loop minor feedback loop Therefore, therefore, we will solve this minor feedback loop. Step 5 reducing minor loop for transfer function. Therefore, Cs upon Rs is equal to G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G1 G2 plus G2 H2 divided by 1 plus H1 into bracket 1 plus G2 H2 divided by G2 into g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 plus g2 h2 this g2 and g2 will get cancelled now g1 g2 divided by divided by 1 plus g1 g2 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus h1 h1 will multiply inside plus h1 h2 
into G2 into G1 divided by 1 plus G2 H2 G1 G2 plus G2 H2. Now by cross multiplication what will happen? This denominator and this will get cancelled. Therefore same value is here. G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G1 G2 plus G2 H2 into 1 plus G1 G2 plus G2 H2 divided by 1 plus divided by here 1 plus H1 plus H1 H2 into G2. Therefore this and this will get cancelled and we will get the final answer. Now next problem that is problem number 3. Draw this diagram. Here two summing points are there, then these two blocks are there G1, G2, then here takeoff point is there because of this feedback loop will be formed, then this G3 and G4, these two blocks are in parallel, again from this H2 signal is taken here, therefore by observing the block diagram G1, G2 are in series, therefore G1, G2, these two blocks are replaced by one block that is G1, G2, G1, G2. Now this G1, G2, this summing point and this H1, they are forming the few minor feedback loop. Therefore, since signal of H1 is negative, therefore in the numer denominator that value will be positive. Therefore, that block will be G1, G2 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1 and this G3 and G4 are also these two blocks are in parallel therefore they will be G3 plus G4 because G3 sign is positive, G4 sign is also positive therefore G1, G2 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1 and this G3 G3 plus G4 and this signal H2 will be there now again these two blocks are in series Therefore, they will get multiplied with each other. Therefore, we have to multiply that is G1, G2 into G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1. G1, G2 into G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1. And this takeoff point is there because of this takeoff point or this feedback signal H2 this is going to form minor feedback loop therefore we will solve this minor feedback loop that is cs upon rs or c upon r is equal to g1 g2 into bracket g3 plus g4 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 into g3 plus g4 into h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 therefore transfer function is equal to G1, G2 into bracket G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1 plus G1, G2 into H2 into G3 plus G4 because this 1 plus G1, G2, H1 and 1 plus G1, G2, H1 they will get cancelled. Therefore, this is the final solution of the log diagram. Now, next problem. Reduce the block diagram and obtain the transfer function draw this diagram here two summing points are there and this G1 H1 this two blocks are there G2 H2 this signal is there upper signal here no block is there therefore this is known as unity feedback Therefore, here the value of the block is equal to 1. Now, we will solve this. Hmm? What, what I have done here? I have just shifted this point here and this point here. Or this point here and this point. This point towards left, this point towards right. Therefore, this G1, H1 and this summing point, it forms a minor feedback loop and this G2H2 and this semi point this forms a 
another minor feedback loop. Therefore, we will solve this minor feedback loop. Here, signal is positive, therefore, in the denominator, value sign will be negative. Here, signal is negative, therefore, in the denominator, sign will be positive. Therefore, our figure next step will be like this g1 divided by 1 minus g1 h1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 and this take off point will remain as it is now these two blocks are in series therefore they will get multiplied with each other therefore g1 divided by 1 minus g1 h1 into g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 now this feedback signal is there now here no block is there therefore whenever there is no block here the value of the block is 1 therefore this is known as unity feedback loop therefore we will solve this cs upon rs is equal to g1 g2 divided by 1 minus g1 h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 divided by 1 minus g1 h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 here multiplied by 1 is there because the unity feedback is there now we will solve this so that these two terms will get cancelled now next example draw this block diagram Therefore, now in this block diagram, if you will see, these two summing points are there, block G1, H1 is there, G2 is there, block G4, G5, G6 is there, sorry, G3, G4, G5 is there, and this is the block G6, and this is the feedback signal, this H2 is there, again here feedback signal, and that feedback block, or feedback element H1 is there. Now, by observing the diagram, we are seeing that this summing point block G1 and block H1 they are forming minor feedback loop and the blocks G3, G4 and G5 they are blocks in parallel because signals coming from all these three blocks are in the same direction and they are coming at one summing point. Therefore, we will apply that two rules here this loop is replaced by a block g1 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 therefore same will be here g1 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 same block g2 will be there and this g3 plus g4 plus g5 again here block g6 here feedback signal is taken h2 now all these three blocks are in series all these three blocks are in series therefore they will get multiplied with each other therefore g1 into g2 into bracket g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 and this minor is feedback or takeoff point is here feedback signal h2 it is fed back to this summing point therefore this forms again minor feedback loop therefore we will solve this since its value is negative in the denominator the value will be positive whenever negative feedback is there then we have to use positive sign in the denominator therefore we will solve this minus feedback loop therefore what will be the value g1 g2 into g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 this block is there into another block g6 then output is there now since these two blocks are in series they will get multiplied with each other therefore transfer function g1 g2 g6 into g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g1 h1 now by cross multiplication these two denominators will get cancelled and final value will be transfer function cs upon rs is equal to g1 g2 g6 into g3 plus g4 plus g5 divided by 
वन प्लस जी वन एच वन प्लस जी वन जी टू एच टू इंटू जी थ्री प्लस जी फोर प्लस जी फाइव Now we will see next problem. Therefore, this is the block diagram. Two summing points, two block G one H one. Again, here summing point G two H two. This feedback signal is there. Here no value is there. For therefore, its value is equal to one. Therefore. First of all, we will reduce this minor feedback loop. This summing point, this block G2 and this block H2 forms feedback loop. Therefore, its value will be G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2. See that G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2. Again, this same diagram will be will be there. Now, what we have to do? We will interchange the two summing points. Associative law. We will interchange the Two summing point associative law, so that this block G1 and H1 they will form the feedback loop. See that associative law. Therefore, this, therefore, this G1, H1 and this summing point will form a minor feedback loop, and its value will be G1 divided by 1 plus G1, H1. Will reduce this minor feedback loop. See here, G1 divided by 1 plus G1 H1, G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2. Now these two blocks are in series. Therefore, they will get multiplied with each other. Therefore, G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G1 H1 into 1 plus G2 H2. And here, unit feedback is there. Now this is again unity feedback system. This is again. Unity feedback system. Therefore, we'll reduce this minor feedback loop. Here, no block is there. Therefore, here you have to consider that this value of this feedback signal is equal to one. Therefore, C transfer function C S upon R S is equal to G one G two divided by one plus G one H one into one plus G two H two divided by one plus G one G two into one. Because of unit feedback divided by one plus G one H one into one plus G two H two, therefore transfer function C S upon R S is equal to G one G two divided by one plus G one H one into one plus G two H two plus G one G two. Because this two brackets and these two brackets will get cancelled. This is the solution. Up to this, this solution is there. We will stop here.